Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single glove on Amazon. That's right, gloves, like masks, but for your hands. All right, today we're looking at the Lytus Nitrile Examination Gloves, and Tara is gonna open this up and, and cut a small piece out of the, uh, the exam glove. Um, this is going to allow a Chris to test on this very fancy machine, which we'll show you in a second. All right, let's talk about Lytus here. So, least favorite box in the world is a gloss box. I hate this box. Um, you know, maybe that correlates or not, I'm not sure. Um, but Lytus, let's see, let's take a look at these guys. They say they meet, oh, you're gonna be excited, uh, meets ASTM D6319. Oh, most excited I've been all day. <laughs> um, and it says 510K cleared. Okay, that's the that's FDA's uh, designation for class one medical device. So. Um, that means it's gone through a huge process to make this happen. It does have the ASTM's logo on the box, which I know ASTM does not want you to put that logo. You have to say member underneath it. Um, so that's, you know, one strike against them. Um, let me see when the where these were manufactured. Thailand, which is great. They make some of the best gloves, gloves in the world for a long time in Thailand. And uh, when was the date? The date of manufacture, this is very confusing. Uh, December 15, 2021. That's an... In, uh, in technical terms, that's an old ass glove. Um, so it's gonna have slightly different, thank you, Tara, <laughs> than, uh, slightly different um, manufacturer uh, standards, which I'll show you in a second. All right, this is the, the uh, dog bone. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna measure that. Gotta say, Lytus, I don't love your blue. Ooh, but it's a good glove feel, good hand feel. Hand feel, nine out of 10. It's a little tight for, a, is this a medium? This is like the tightest fitting medium that I've ever had. I'm gonna try this here. Yeah, I've, I've had better on that and then I'll do the, uh, oh, that's really good though. Oh. And it didn't explode, no, it exploded, it's a micro explosion. <laughs> All right. So many that's what she said jokes with gloves, I just can't even start. But I, I will say the glove, the, the hand feel on this is really nice when you put it on. Um, and I don't know why that is. It's just, it's like silky smooth. I should do the smell here. We're gonna call this smell uh, slightly used beach ball. <laughs> these are old gloves. You know, one thing I'll point out on these boxes, it says 100 gloves by weight. They don't actually count the number of gloves, they weigh it, so you may get you know, 95, you may get 130, um, because they're weighing it, they're not putting it in there directly, which is just a lot more efficient way to do. Uh, these are nitrile examination gloves, they say they're 510K, and, they, and they're cleared, and that it meets the uh, ASTM D6319, uh, which is the uh, ASTM standard for medical exam gloves, right? Yes. Um, but uh, we shall see, because that's what this machine tests. All right, so let's get on to the machine. Are we ready to go? Yes. All right, we're doing it. All right, so we're testing for uh, two things here, tensile strength um, and, uh, and for elongation. Uh, to meet um, D6319, uh, we're gonna have to beat 500% uh, elongation and uh, tensile strength of 14. So 14 is gonna come across here, 500% is gonna cross here. We've only have one glove on here, a medical glove, that has beat uh, that standard. Now, there is a stipulation that if the glove is over six months old, it can be 400% um, or better. Buy new gloves, people, what can I tell you? If you're buying gloves that are made um, in China or Thailand and they're being put on a boat and then they sit in an Amazon warehouse, it's not gonna be as good quality because that glove after the manufacturing process continues to cure and as it sits on that boat, you know, it, it basically gets harder and harder and harder until it doesn't protect you anymore. Is that accurate? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's like one of, this is like the second best glove that we've had so far which makes sense, it's 510K cleared. The FDA doesn't typically mess around with this type of thing. They keep their manufacturers, I can tell you, in line. Um, and this is not a surprise that they're doing so well. And look at that, above 500%. This is the second best glove that we have tested. Tensile strength of 22.3. Look at that curve, beautiful curve. If you know anything about gloves, you know it's a good curve. <laughs> he does, he was excited by the curve. You, you couldn't tell, Very nice. couldn't tell, but he liked it. 513%. Um, Second best glove that we've had. Makes sense, it's a 510K glove. You know, I don't love the box of Lytus, but I like the results. Good job, Lytus. Gloved, hand, thumbs up. Thank you for checking out this video. 
Uh, appreciate your time and attention, and I will catch you on the next test.